Thorn is a nonprofit that looks a lot like a software company. Uh, we build technology to fight online child sexual abuse. So we're looking at the way technology facilitates uh, child sex trafficking, the spread of child sexual abuse material, and then emerging crimes with new technologies like live streaming sex abuse, um, considering what virtual reality um, abuse will look like, um, and really trying to address those crimes and build technology solutions to combat the spread of them. The beauty of our model is that we're building software that can scale globally rather quickly. So cloud-based solutions that really any law enforcement agency or any company can pick up and implement with rather little lift. So the investment we're getting at school allows us to build the engineering teams that can make those platforms stable enough to scale globally and bring on more countries and more users pretty rapidly. So I think with this issue, it's uh, one of the most important things over the next kind of five to 10 years will be educating governments and um, the public, honestly, about the size of this epidemic and making them realize that it is a digital first crime that is also incredibly human, right? But we're not going to be able to solve it unless we involve technology and data and data sharing globally, which will require governments and policymakers to think about what does it mean to share their proprietary data um, across kind of geographic boundaries. And um, it, it gets into data privacy, data sharing, but within all of it, we always need to think about if we're designing for the rights of the child, what will be the best thing that we can do for them. And often that will require us to think more deeply about data sharing and collaboration uh, globally. With our work, um, we need to have law enforcement all around the world and private sector companies that host user-generated content all around the world active. And our goal is to build the software that makes it possible for them to take action easily. Today, our law enforcement software is at work in 38 countries, and it is incredibly easy for any, any country or law enforcement unit to spin up and start working um, with our software. So that's part of it. It's like, how accessible do you make it for um, an agency to do their part? And our job is to make it incredibly easy.